Welcome to week 14 of the DB Sport and Scale SE5A Quarter Scale build. This video is a slideshow with a voiceover of some pictures I took while building it. Day 92. I took a long time to make up the, all the strap fastenings needed for the tail wires. This will be quite nice when all of them have been finished. I decided to put heat shrink tubing on the wires to make them more finished. Seems to come out all right. Day 93. Not much done today. The wires to the cabane struts took a long time and were fiddly. But they do look good. At the bottom of the struts there are hooks that I had not fastened yet. But since all the rigging wires are in place, I could adjust the struts. I glued the hooks with some epoxy glue. The tape is there to prevent the glue from dripping down onto the wings. Day 94. I fastened the tank in for the last time and fixed two fuel tubes to the firewall. One to fill and the other for the overflow. These reach to the underside of the model. The ignition box and the two batteries have now been inserted. I can move the batteries further back if needed. Day 95. The coupling for the wing rigging is not very nice, so I decided to slide some heat shrink tubing over it and then blast it with a hot air gun. This looks a lot nicer. I do not completely trust the fastenings of the undercarriage, so I decided to make up some brass plates that I put under the wing fastening bolts and over the landing gear wire. And then I screwed these down on the other side of it. This is much more reliable, especially in the back, as there the undercarriage was only held in place with 0.6mm plywood. Here I am putting together the windshield for uh, in front of the pilot. Day 96. I put the Vickers gun in place, glued some balsa bits around it, and then covered everything with silicon glue. And here is the business end of the gun. The pilot was a tad horizontally challenged, so I glued a piece of balsa to his hindquarters. The instrument panel, panel is in place, and the pilot tried it out. I have not glued him in yet. He seems to be able to use the weapon. Day 97. I bought some really cheap fleece blankets in a local shop and my wife agreed to sew them uh, into bags for the SE5A wings, uh, mostly because I don't really know how to work the sewing machine. I finally got some fittings I'd ordered from model fixings in England and so I could finish rigging the tail. It will not be long until this model is finished. Day 98. The batteries have been placed in as far forward as they can get. The petrol tank holds them in place, and I made a small lid that holds them down. If the model comes out nose-heavy, I can move them back. The exhaust pipe is being fabricated. This is just a normal Icelandic electricity conduit and a round stick that came with the kit. Plus, of course, coffee. And here the exhaust has been assembled and glued, hopefully very securely. A plug was formed from balsa, rounded off and glued to the front. Then I will fix an exhaust extension that reaches back to the cockpit. Mm -hmm. 